Andrew McGann for Severe MMA, standing next to the Russian hammer, Artem Lobov. Uh, Artem, where does that nickname come from? I know, Peter Quilly just kept calling me this, I don't know why. I think his girlfriend called me that before, so <laughs> that's how he started. <laughs> I'm only messing now. <laughs> no, I'm not sure, to be honest, he just came up with that and it's kinda, it kind of seems to be sticking, so hey. Why not? Exactly. Artem, I have to say, I've seen you come back from the dead a couple of times in fights, but no more impressively than that. Uh, safe to say you were probably unconscious for a second in the first round? Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. I remember getting hit. I think I don't give enough respect to my opponents anymore because I always think that nobody's going to stand with me. So I kind of stop moving and stop doing my thing just because I'm like, right, this guy's going to take me down. Whereas Andrew kind of surprised me and... Uh, I think it's something I have to uh, work a little on a little bit more, you know, kind of go back to my old ways and uh, show them why I have the best stand-up in the featherweight division. So I'm going to go back and work on that for sure. Speaking of which, you've probably got the best stance in the featherweight division. Your feet are the same length apart and you have your hands down. Is that because you're anticipating guys coming to take you down? Yeah, exactly. That's one of the, you know, uh, obviously ways to defend the takedown, you know, because your hands are down, so it's very easy to come up for the underhooks. Uh, so, yeah, definitely one of the reasons. A uh, little bit of a throwback there, your finish. Yeah, I think you channeled some Paddy Hulhan against Milan Kovac uh, 2010. It would have yeah. finished right with one second left in the fight. Uh, did you think it's you were... Really? Yeah. There was only one second left. All right. I didn't know. I just kept hitting him. And I could see him trying to get up, but then every time I would connect, he'd drop down. So I just kept trying to keep him down and... I guess the Mark Goddard stopped the fight then, you know, and that I guess that shows a uh, experience of Mark Goddard, you know, because uh, I'm pretty sure that 99% of the refs, having heard that clapper, they would have just waited it out, whereas he, you know, wasn't phased by the clapper, he just went with how the fight went and stopped it when he felt it was necessary, so fair play to him. Two quick things before we go, um, how do you think that would have went on the judges' scorecards had it gone two seconds longer? I have no idea, to be honest with you, I was just... Uh, trying to keep punching him and keep trying not to get hit. That wasn't working out so well, but I guess at least I was landing, so uh, that was working. I'm not even sure. It could have gone either way, to be honest. Uh, probably definitely won uh, one each, and then one of the rounds probably could have gone either way, so I'm not sure, to be honest. And then finally, Artem, I know we had that interview uh, back after Connor's GFC debut. You were 6-6 six and six at the time. You're now 10-10. Ten and ten. Yeah. Obviously not the year you would have liked, but is, do you think this is the new Artem Lobov that the run still is possible? I think the run is still possible, and if you take my uh, the 10 wins that I have, and you take all the other guys in the top 10, all of them put together wouldn't have as many impressive wins as I do. So I think that says something, and uh, you know I'm hoping that uh, it will show the message out there for the guys to fight each other, because there's a lot of uh, record fighting going on, and I'm one of the guys that uh, believes you have to fight hard challenges, and it's uh, not just about having an impressive record, it's, it's about uh, having good experiences, having fun, and challenging yourself. And I do think that maybe at the moment, getting into the UFC, somebody with an impressive record might have an advantage over me. But if I do get into the UFC, I think I have an advantage over them with all the experience that I have. So hopefully I get to show that one day. Whether I will or not, I don't know. Artem, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much.